Neverwet is a two-part super hydrophobic coating. You spray a base, you give it about 15 minutes to dry, and then you spray a top coat on it. And after another 15 minutes or so, it's ready to go. It resists all sorts of waters, uh, aqueous solutions, salt solutions, acids, bases. Um, you know, most of the foods you eat, it resists quite well. Um, we have partnered in the last year with Rust-Oleum and they have brought all of their expertise to what we're doing as well, which has been tremendously helpful. And now we're launching across the United States. The outer section was treated with the coating. The center was just untreated glass. So when you put the water on it, the water will, the colored water will stick to the uncoated glass, but it will not go out of that section onto the coated surface. I applied a couple thin layers of the base coat and allowed that to dry so it wasn't tacky and then I covered that with just a couple layers of the top coat. This is going to show that um, liquids won't stick and it's just easy cleanup. So we have a, an uncoated toilet brush and a coated toilet brush and we're going to see the difference. So if you're you know, cleaning your toilet, it would be great if things didn't stick to it after you were done. So uncoated one and you just clean things and uh, pretty drippy, kind of nasty. So, coated one will come out with no drips. Red wine vinegar, and we have yellow mustard, and Sunday syrup. And we are going to pour them directly on the shoes, just like as if you were using it, and it actually accidentally drip on your shoes. The shoes are coated with uh, our Neverwet uh, product, which is by rust -Oleum. Right, so, so some of the mustard will stuck because of the fibers, but then the, it doesn't stick to it, so when you put water on it, it takes it right off. You're at a summer picnic and you've got a case of beer or soda or something like that. Um, you want to keep it cold. Instead of taking it all out and putting it in a cooler, you could coat the inside of the box that they came in and just fill that with ice. And as the ice melts, it's not going to make the container all soggy and wet because you've got it coated with never wet. So basically, essentially, you have a cooler for your beer where the water will just flow right out of it, the box stays dry, and you've got your ice cold, ice cold beer. So today we have yellow mustard, um, we've got Sunday syrup, along with red wine vinegar, and some homestyle gravy, and we are going to splash our CEO with it. Gravy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray the an iPhone 4 or iPhone 5 and it's fairly easy and it will sustain up to 6 inches of water. What we're using is the Rust-Oleum Never Wet base, base and top. You want to open up the iPhone, it's fairly easy, and you're going to get something like this. Now with the base coat, you want to spray the, the back panel the inside of the back panel, and the phone. Just two, three light layers. And with the Q-tip, you want to spray the base coat onto the Q-tip and just rub it into these openings. <laughs> here, here, there, and then here. Once that's dried, you want to take the top, the top coat and lightly spray a layer on the, on the inside back panel and on the inside of the phone, two or three light layers, and all around in the ports, in the headphone jack, in that port, and the ports on the bottom. And with a towel or a napkin, just very easily wipe the outside of the phone. Once that's done, pop the bat back on, put the screws back in, and you're ready to go. Comes right out. So useful. Just take it. Go ahead and swipe it and everything. It's dry right off. Excuse me.